Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, my name's Raylo, and I don't know why I'm back. You know, baby got back, babes. But uh, other than that, welcome into my um, Bioshock Infinite Let's Play, and I am much more excited for this than you might think. So uh, we're gonna dive right in here. I'm just gonna. I think what I'm gonna do. I'm doing a second game on hard, which I just overwrote. But I don't know how that's going to work. Anyway, we'll play on medium just so that I don't die a whole lot during this Let's Play. Uh, anyway, I'll introduce myself. My name is Raylo. I've been doing Let's Plays for a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this one is going to work out. Uh, because it is sort of more... I like to explore, search bodies, and do all that stuff, get all the achievements. Um, and so hopefully... Are you afraid of God? We can get everything set up there, but I'll let you listen to this for a second. Alright, well that was just a the quick little intro. Are you afraid of God? No, I'm afraid of you. Uh, so we play as Booker here. I don't know exactly a whole lot about the story. Um, I did a lot of hard work in order for me to not know much about the story because I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to sort of know a little bit about the game just to kind of see, like, I know that we're going to be in, like, a floating city and all this shit. Uh, and a little side note there on that box, if you go back on your video there, it says Wounded Me, a little Skyrim reference for you there. Anyway, um, so we play as Booker, I think, Washington. Anyway, we, uh... We're a soldier, and now we are back. So, 7th Cavalry is where we are from. This is 1912, so we are... I don't know what war we are in. Not World War One, Because that was, uh... 15 and 17 and, and 13 like that, so... Uh, you know? I'm not exactly sure yet. Anyway. I have no idea where we are. We are on the coast of Maine somewhere, but, um... We're just with two guys, I, you know, a lady and a gentleman, so they pl clearly aren't, like, part of my party or anything. And, uh, it's getting a little eerie over here. I don't know, I kind of like this lighthouse situation. It reminds me of Scooby-Doo or something. So I am playing on the PC, um, despite the X that is there. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller. That is just for personal benefit. I just appreciate that much more. I'm trying to figure out exactly what, okay, so I think the Somebody Silver Eagle is the here. currency here. Okay. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. So, we have no idea if we're meeting anyone here or anything. Uh, so we get the left click to sprint. Looks like there's a little bit of frame issues there, which is not always a good thing, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, I'm just gonna explore all the way around here. I don't know exactly how much they're gonna put into this game, but, like, see, you can search the barrel. So I want to take that. Cans of beans, that's something that they didn't really have in the other game. They did have like pet bars and stuff, but uh, I wonder if that'll have any purpose in like my Excuse fucking me. like inventory or anything. It. Anyway, look at this note there. Uh, There's a note for me. us. Of thy sins, shall I wash thee? Let's see if we can wash our hands in here. Wash our face. We've got a little glimpse of our character. He's looking pretty handsome, might I say. Good luck with that. Oh, so he reads the sign. Reads the sign. Reads the sign. Raylo, you illiterate. Okay, um, and let's just make sure that nothing is in these barrels, like cans of beans. So I think that is just like a, <coughs> excuse me, immediate help. Um, and I don't think there's any real depth to it other than that. So aside from what I already introduced myself earlier, um. I am like very, 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 very excited for this game. Like you have no idea how much I wanted this game to come out. Bioshock 1 is by far my favorite game. I've played through it about 12 times. I'll be generous uh, by saying 12, so I think it's probably more like 9 or 10. Um, but I have played through it a lot, a lot. So uh, don't un un underestimate my uh, knowledge of Bioshock and stuff like that. I have played a ton. And uh, I'm just going to be kind of slow here on this first little bit until we get into the swing of things. Because I want to know how Irrational Games sort of decided to make this um, game different. And like how the exploring is going to be, kind of stuff like that. Because like you could pick up stuff in Bioshock, 
but it wasn't like you know a whole big deal and it was sort of like a lot of stuff was um not really necessary anyway there's a handprint on the wall there so got a little murder scene here uh, I have seen this first little opening scene unfortunately but um anywho this guy got executed he didn't even get to see who shot him that's just horrible uh, I kind of wish I could pick up Mr. Chisel. Can I pick up Mr. Chisel? No. Alright, so we got A to jump here, which is uh, different than Skyrim. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I remembered that I was playing Skyrim, and that's why. Uh, why the Y button is Y jumping, so why. Alright, so we're up at the top here. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing around here yet. And I am going to make these videos probably about a half hour long, uh, which reminds me I should check time and stuff like that. Um, Alright, so here we go. Use the bells. I wish I could figure out what my inventory was. Um, it's not back button. It is not start button. It is not B. B is crouch. Can I go prone? No. Uh, click the stick and sprint. Bumpers and triggers. I guess I'm just going to use the bells and it'll probably pull up the sign. Okay, there we go. So we are going to ring the scroll once. Ring the key twice. And this should activate something. Ooh, epic sky. No, I'm just kidding. I have sort of really seen this. It's sort of unfortunate that I have seen this because I do wish I had some like original reaction. But I did... You know, I was like super into like the gameplay sort of thing. Anyway, I'm assuming most of you have have seen sort of some of the gameplay at all. Um, otherwise, you probably wouldn't be here. But I do encourage you to stick around. I'm kind of nice, you know. I might buy a couple times, but uh, it's only cause I like ya. Uh, nothing is really happening so far. Just some serious red lights going down here. Playing the same tune that we played via bells. Just in really deep um, fog horn noises. Ooh, now we got some boiling going on. All right, so this is what I want you to notice. Like There's definitely some like cuffs here. So guess what I should do? Not put my arms in the air armchair, right? Do it. Classic mistake, man. Ooh, what a scrub. All right. Well, it's probably for the best. It's probably more like a safe, but uh, safety feature, seatbelt kind of thing. Anyway, not my problem. There goes our uh, Walther. I think it's a Walther. I have no idea. Anyway, I was watching that fucking like Cloud Atlas or something, and that weirdo, uh, the gay guy in the 1900s, totally ruined it for you. By the way. If you are going to keep listening, but I'm about to just keep talking because, you know, I don't really give a shit. So, anyway, he uh, he kills himself and he kills his like his composer and master. Anyway, it's a good movie. You should uh, watch it and read the book and all that stuff. All right, so we've launched up into our um, city. I don't know what the name of this city is because I know Rapture was a big thing. This is a lot like the opening scene from Bioshock, which is awesome because it is different like they know that they're being a little bit sort of different but also the same so it's like nostalgic almost I'm in my like little pod and I get to see the city for the first time for what it is and then as soon as I get out I'm gonna realize it's not our best so Father Comstock seems to be the Atlas character from Bioshock at least at this point, he's kind of like the leader or whatever, and we are going to be descending onto what looks like it's probably going to be like a platform or something. Anyway, I do have my settings on super high, um, so hopefully that doesn't affect frame rate or anything like that. I do have a beefy computer, but, um, you know, it's not the best. I could always upgrade and shit like that. It is a little bit old, a uh, couple years, I think, so. <coughs> Excuse me for the cough. I'm still a little bit recovering from six anonymous, and um, it's been a long time coming too, man. It's been like a couple weeks almost now, where I've just been like having this like steady cough and cold and sneeze and 
Uh, I had fever for a little bit. So there's Comstock praising to all his pe people, and it looks like they're all worshiping him. Um, might be a little bit of propaganda going on here. Well, I mean, this is clearly propaganda. Like, it's definitely not just, like, art. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a fucking mural. I need to get the fuck out of this thing. Okay, there we go. Watch him rub his wrist. Oh, nice. He didn't. That's, like, really pleasing. Good job. All right. Oh, that is such a good sound. Oh, my gosh. I love that sound. Can I read this? Find a way into the city. Um... So far, I'm doing alright. Anyway, we are going to make our way into the city. Seat of the Prophet shall sit thrown in, drown and play in the mountains of man. <laughs> alright, so, some weird quotes that happened. This guy is, listen to this music, man, it's very creepy. Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. This guy looks like me, I think. Oh, I can't look at myself in the water. I was about to be like, ooh, clever. All right, well, that guy, I rem if I remember correctly, he sort of did look like me. Anyway, let's see what's up here first. Uh, I think we are going the wrong way, yeah. So let's just make sure we're not missing out on anything. This is where we came from. Creary. Uh, oh, my gosh, there's so many ways to go. I want to look at all of them. So we're going to head over to uh, another worshiping center here. Where baby Jesus was born, and we're going to search the gift for some monies. And nothing else in here. I kind of want that uh, doll. I like that. It's sort of like a pep boy from uh, Fallout doll. There's a little Napoleon, or maybe George Washington, or some figure like that. Napoleon probably hasn't uh, been alive yet, so that's clearly not what Gotta that is. The exit out of this place. Uh empty why do they allow me to search all right so we want to go this way so I see this is the thing is like I want to go all the ways all the ways across this guy and so we are going to take a very long time I think for this first little episode here uh, but what am I searching okay so we are supposed to go down that way he said we we're in heaven but I seriously doubt it as close as we're going to get until redemption. I think this guy's just a religious fuck, so. Anyway, we're gonna climb up here and uh, hopefully get a ton of monies. Silver eagle seems to be the currency. I wonder if there are gold eagles or anything like that. Uh, I would assume that there's a little bit of extension to that sort of thing. And in the womb shall grow the seed of my prophet. My, wait. The seed of the prophet. So that is, uh, fucking, what's his face? His mom. She's dead now for shizzle, but uh, they are worshipping her still. Oh, they do have audio logs. Sweet. Voxophones is what they're called. All right. So that's going to be something that um, I can pick up all of them and get achievements for that stuff. I'm, sh I'm assuming. He is you. Assuming. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Hopefully you guys can hear this. I don't have subtitles on in this part for some reason, but uh, I'll probably turn that on for the next episode. On this day, Wait, can I turn? Days, can I back up? I want to listen to this for okay. To our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down the enemies of the queen and not railed This is pretty fucked up, man. This is like super baptism. Alright, so we're gonna empty the circle and uh, disrupt, I guess. From the below. This is not Only Father Comstock, but uh, he is. I guess a. Uh, I just need passage into the city. Creature. To the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through. Columbia, the that's the what the name of this is. Okay, so we it looks Where like we're gonna have to go through baptism, which is sort of um, ridiculous. I, yeah, I guess I'll accept. Hey, I Even though it's like completely against me. In the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our lord. Drown me, son. This is like a fucking Atlantic City show. Uh, Boardwalk Empire, man. He like baptizes someone in the lake and then it turns out he just drowns them. Fucking ridiculous. I need to stop saying ridiculous, man. It's like... Count, count 
eggs before they hatch over here. And other sayings that Who's make there? no sense. Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the deck. What do you want? Hmm. A deal to it. Open this so I've been gambling, have a little gambling problem, Told probably you. a little drinking even Not too. I kind of want to pick up that Go gun, away. yo, man. I feel like I deserve that right. It is a male voice. It sounds like Atlas from Bioshock. I kind of want to open this shit. Oh, ball sack, man. There's no one here. Is Floating City under attack? What the hell? That looked like it was like regular city was attacking the Floating City. I saw a Reddit post about this picture here. It's like this is really what's this is really what uh, America is, man. We're worshiping the only one that is like into war, like Jefferson's. Sorry, I want to listen to this. Need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. I mean, seriously, this is a landmark right here. I feel like. Anyway, it's like you know these guys are worshiping war, Father Washington, you know, and he's like. We got education over here and and advancements. I don't know, whatever the key stands for. Not exactly sure, but uh, based on what Franklin uh, Benjamin Franklin did, it would be technology and stuff like that. lungs with water, so they may better love the air. So I feel like a lot of this is going to be me listening, because I do really want to um, engage in the story here. So. Uh, you guys are going to have to to kind of engage with me a little bit, and so bear with me if I stop talking and shit like that, but it's probably for the better because you know, a lot of my times, a lot of the times, my jokes are uh, subpar, man. Anyway, graphics, man, look at this. This is a little cheap, in my opinion. That's, you know, something I can look past, I guess, but uh, still a little cheap nonetheless. I don't know. What do you think about that? Hello, birdie. Oh, oh, he's tricky. Look at this ninja guy. Oh my gosh. Get him. A real hummingbird. Oh, I guess he's supposed to be a hummingbird. Okay. <laughs> ah, never mind. I can see his wings. All right. Father Frank, we'll listen to this. Hear my prayer. So these guys are all f um, praying to uh, the tri gods, is what it seems like. But it seems like Comstock would be the, the god here. But I think he might actually still be alive. Anyway, apparently we are still supposed to be finding this girl. That people pushing up daisies, which I'm not really comfortable with. But ooh, that looks like the statue of Columbus or Columbia or whatever. I totally wish I had a statue like that. That'd be epic, man. Just on my front lawn or something. Just me with like a cape, and, like a sweet ass beard. Freaking, uh, what's his name? Bill Nighy from fucking Pirates of the Caribbean status over here. <laughs> he's the octopus guy, by the way. For those of you that don't know who Bill Nighy is, uh, he's got a sweet voice, man. He's like, in, uh, fucking Harry Potter, man. He's like the minister for the seventh movie. To Mr. Billiam Weasley. Yeah, anyway. Getting up to full health. Apparently he's just giving me free food, which is sweet. Thank you, sir. You're quite kind, and yet you make zero eye contact. Okay, so look at this, man. This is funky. These buildings are bobbing up and down. Day for the celebration. Oh my Father God. Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. These guys are crazy. This is funky, man. I do sense a little bit of craziness here. So, uh, apparently, we're here for some sort of celebration or holiday or something like that anyway we are making our way here I just think it fails to capture father Comstock's absolute you know, divinity hmm? Hmm. yeah see these guys are like super into this game man I feel like these people should be like great you know here just be like mm, give it to me that was gross man who did that? Who does that? Me. That's right. Get on board or just leave. I don't care. I'm here forever. Everyone is talking about this Comstock guy, man. I want to take him out. Stab him in the throat. Set him on fire. Do some dark things. Get kinky with this shit. 
Uh, so really, we don't have anywhere to really go. Locate the statue of Columbia, but I'm gonna explore a little bit more. I like the uh, the atmosphere so far. It's pretty sweet. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. I have no idea what this is. Father Comstock's gift of the prophecy. In the midst of the darkest storm. Okay, so I think that looks like a statue. The great prophet foresees bright sunshine, and lo, it appears! Ooh, Father Comstock has come through. What will the great prophet reveal next? <laughs> so that is our prophet, Father Comstock. Oh. That was anticlimactic. What the hell? <laughs> like, alright. Wait, is Father Comstock gifts the prophecy? Isn't the prophecy him though? Don't tell me about details. Just get it done. These guys are super rich people. All right, well, I'm gonna see if I can rob this. Nope, I guess not. Sort of hoping I could. I like this music, man. I wish I uh, had more music like this in my library of iTunes and such, but I don't. So, there's that. Fun fact for you. Now you know a little bit about me. Tell me about yourself. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to know anything about you. Alright, so we got some <laughs> daily docking. I wonder if that means, like, the sexual act that, uh, a lot of Northern Lion YouTubers, um, participate in. Or at least, you know, talk the talk. I don't know if they really walk the walk. I doubt it. But, uh, it's probably more like a shipping station or anything like that. Anyway, I'll probably send him a screenshot of that because I think that's hilarious. And we shall continue on down here looking for Mr. Statue. Uh, looks like these build uh, buildings are um, closed. We're sort of off. Uh, broken fire hiding, really? You guys are in a suit, man. You're getting your suits and your, your britches all, all damp and weather. Ah, oh, man, everything's closed down. What's going on? Yeah. Stop looking at me, queer. Uh, distilled ice. I feel like that's sort of unnecessary. So what the heck? Oh, mechanical horse. What the hell? This is sweet. Can I ride? No. Hey, weren't you selling hot dogs earlier? You son of a bitch! Oh, it's like a parade. Sweet. I can watch a parade. Uh, I guess we're supposed to wait for everything to cross. Columbia Police Authority, can I talk to you? You gotta wait like all the rest. You know what's awesome? Cause I don't feel like taller than all these people. Also, I feel really short, actually. My eye level is like at their collar. What about you, sir? Eye level's at your nose. This is better. Wait, how about you? Yeah, there's actually like different heights of people, that's cool. You yeah, know, little... A little something out of nothing there. Columbia I apologize Rebel for lagging Center. jokes here. I'm sort of just uh, immersed. Immersed? That's not a word. I'm submerged in this uh, Columbia area, man. I'm like really digging this so far. It's colorful, not like Bioshock where it's depressing, but there is that sense of like fucking religious weirdos here. Which is funny. And these buildings, man, they're floating up like left and right. How do they stay like that? Nothing? Alright. I feel like you guys were talking earlier. This bitch was talking about the divinity of the statue, and this guy was just a green. Alright, so we got a ton of um, prop er, propaganda here. Look at this, man. Do I want to watch this? I do think so. Use a kinetoscope. We're going to check this out. Beware the false shepherd. Oh. Alright. So this is a false shepherd, apparently, um, part of the black angel there that was like the, basically the bad part of this town until the prophecy came along and fixed it with his, uh, divinity. A little acapella group over here. Let's check this out, man. How oh, cool. Do you guys need a quintuplet? I'm pretty good. 
the gayest quartet. All right. Well, that seems, you know, like an advancement for 1912, don't you? Yeah, getting a little close here. These two guys in the middle are clearly out for each other. Well, entertaining, nonetheless, but uh, I am going to leave because I don't want to just fucking stand there for ten minutes while they sing. Um, so let's just make sure I'm not missing out on anything. Everything seems to be closed. The grocery store is open, though. I could steal some pears or something. I don't know really hungry, though. I have full health. So I wonder if I lose health over time for, like, hunger and stuff like that. Anyway, let's take, uh... You are on your honor. Yeah, I just took all the money. Even though there's only three freaking silver eagles, but... I will take everything! Haha! -ha! Banana! Eat cake! And the platform that it was on, apparently. <coughs> Man, DeWitt, you're a monster. Alright, so now that we've cleared out this entire store of its, you know six items we will just leave pay I don't want to pay I'm sorry uh, I'm an asshole that's why let's quickly run up here because there is a flower shop where I can buy some flowers for my lady video? that I don't have in real life or in this game oh gosh framey what are you looking at calm the fuck down alright let's see if we can do the honor system here too that'd be sweet do an audio log Jump! Jump! Alright. The Voxophone. I'm gonna let you One guys listen, because I do want to listen to this stuff. I'm sorry. A different man comes out. Born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint. Until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Sinner and saint. Looks like it's just a little quote from uh, Mr. Comstock there. Always appreciated, I suppose. So, we... Try and figure out what to do next. I'm not exactly sure where we're going here. I think we might end this episode pretty soon. Unfortunately, nothing has really happened, but uh, sort of the intro, I guess. Uh, we can get into a little more gameplay and jokes and stuff like that. A little frivolities, if you will. Um, so, let's see if we can make our way to the statue at least, and then we can get our way. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Okay. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, <laughs> <stop>. Sweet. <laughs> do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Well, I like how they have do, commas, do but no periods. Even stop. though there's a period after Telegram Co. Tax. All right, so uh, we went to the Monument Island, I guess, or that's where we have to go now. You know, let's take a look through this telescope here. We can zoom in, maybe? No? All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this episode. I do really appreciate you for coming by. Um, not a whole lot to say other than just uh, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Other than that, just, just go ahead and like the video, do whatever you feel like. Uh, anyway, I'll see you on the other side of the circle for the next episode. It should be coming out in uh, about two or three days.